What happened to Brady Aiken? The once canvas prospect taken number one overall in the 2014 MLB draft is now nowhere to be found. What's up guys, Brett here with Baseball Prospect Analysis and today we're going to talk about Brady Aiken's career and well, what happened to him? Where's he at? first have to start out with Aiken's high school scouting report and accomplishments. By all accounts, Aiken was quote-unquote a can't-miss prospect, said by some scouts to have the potential to be one of the greatest pitchers of all time. No, that is not a joke. One professional scout is actually quoted saying this by Bleacher Report. In my opinion, that is just an unfair assessment of Aiken or any other player at that age. Those compliments slowly progress into expectations and sometimes could not turn out for the best. The UCLA commit hailed out of San Diego, California, and attended Cathedral Catholic High School. Aiken boasted a 6'4", 205-pound frame, full of quick twitch muscle with plenty of room to fill out, routinely sitting in the mid to high 90s with his fastball that featured premium run and sink, he dominated his prep-level competition. The lefty was also equipped with a hard-biting breaking ball and was said to have the best changeup in his whole draft class. Having exceptional command of all three pitches seemed to put him head and shoulders above his prep and college competition for the upcoming 2014 draft, which earned him the number one draft prospect ranking on many accredited websites. Sure enough, the Houston Astros selected Aiken with the first overall pick, which surprised some, but the potential in this kid was just too much for them to pass up. At this point, Aiken was living every youth baseball player's dream. He was about to ink up a $6.5 million contract with the Astros and seemed as if nothing could go wrong. Unfortunately, that was the furthest thing from the truth. Aiken's post-draft MRI revealed some red flags regarding the health of his elbow. This led the Astros to lowering their offer to about $3 million, and the MLB granted an extended negotiating period regarding two of them. However, it ended with Aiken not signing and him heading to IMG Academy's postgraduate program and the Astros being granted the second overall pick in the 2015 draft. Aiken was later quoted saying it was not all about the money, but at that point, he didn't feel wanted by the Astros and didn't feel he would develop in their program. Unfortunately, in Aiken's first start at IMG, he was pulled in the first inning due to elbow pain. In late March of that year, he announced that he had undergone Tommy John surgery, but was still declaring himself for the 2015 draft. Three short months later, the Cleveland Indians selected the Southpaw with the 17th overall pick with a $2.5 million signing bonus. A somewhat risky pick for Cleveland, but many experts still predicted Aiken would appear in the MLB as early as 2018. After a year of recovery, Aiken was finally back on the field, now ranked the 71st overall prospect by Baseball America. However, he ended the year with a 5.83 ERA in only 14 appearances. Still arguably raw from surgery, the Indians had high hopes for his 2017 season, but once again, Aiken failed to produce, posting a 4.77 ERA in 27 starts, with a very concerning 101 walks to 89 strikeout ratio. At this point, the red flags were everywhere. The once mid-90s high-command lefty was now an erratic pitcher with a fastball that sometimes sat in the low 80s, which in 2017 would get you shelled in most high-end high school programs. These concerns were so prevalent, the Indians opted to have Aiken stay at their spring training facility to train and sharpen his skills instead of participating in the 2018 season. However, the year off seemed to not help Aiken in the slightest. He reappeared in 2019 for single-A Lake County for only two absolutely disastrous relief appearances. In two unfinished innings, he produced two outs, six walks, and three runs in 44 pitches. Now, a very frustrated Indians program, and Aiken himself needed to find some answers. After much thought, Aiken and Cleveland agreed that he would take the summer off and train at Driveline Baseball in Washington State, which is a facility somewhat known for revamping careers and restoring elite velocity. Unfortunately, after months at Driveline, little to no progress seemed to be made, and Aiken was lost mentally and physically. There seemed to be no answer for his struggles and for him. Shortly after Driveline, Aiken announced he'd be taking an indefinite leave from baseball. This led to a long fall and winter with no word on his return and many believing he was done for good. Eventually, in February of 2020, it was reported that Aiken did in fact report to spring training. However, this came with no updates on his condition or health. As of right now, that's where the story ends. We have a postponed season and an Aiken that's back, but we have no idea where he's at. So my final thoughts on this story is that this theme seems to be getting old and sadly very repetitive in recent years. A can't-miss prep prospect with elite velocity suffers the fate of Tommy John and comes back a completely different person physically 
and mentally. If you told the 2014 stud Southpaw that he would need to take a break from America's pastime, he most likely would have confidently chuckled and told you that you're crazy. And I wouldn't blame him one bit. The mental toll Tommy John takes on a player is often greatly underestimated and misunderstood. Your arm has an 80 to 90% chance of healing and rehabbing properly. However, that does not mean you will return the same level or ability that you had pre-surgery. That can happen over time or very possibly never. The arm will feel different because it really is no longer your original arm. Mentally, the trauma of surgery, the idea of getting injured again, and the lack of confidence will certainly inhibit performance. In my opinion, that's what happened to Aiken. The surgery was a success. The southpaw was able to pitch and replicate proper movements with no elbow pain. However, in my eyes, I think there's a good chance we will never see Aiken reach those mid-90s numbers again or develop enough control to become effective. Unfortunately, I believe Aiken will go down as the biggest draft bust of all time. With that being said, I certainly hope something changes for him for the better. Whether that means him developing into a steady bullpen option for a minor league team, or if miraculously he comes into the late 2020 season looking like the first overall pick he originally was. My hope for Aiken in 2020 is that he finds himself, enjoys the game, and restores his confidence. All of that needs to be done before we the fans, or more importantly, Aiken himself, can expect the once elite tools to develop and become effective. Like I said, once again, I really hope nothing but the best for Brady Aiken. Someone like him has life turned completely upside down due to injury, and you hate to see it because injuries are something you can never really control, and sometimes you just can never recover from or bounce back. It'd be a really cool sight to see him in the MLB one day, but if I had to put my money on it, I'd say as of right now, there's not a very good chance at all we'll see him. I felt like I needed to make this video because there's just not that much information out on him. If you do a Google search, most of the articles about him are from 2014, 2017, but very rarely anything on 2019 or 2020. Anyways, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We'll be doing videos hopefully every week. Most of the videos will be prospect breakdowns of current top 100 prospects in the nation, as well as some more what happened videos kind of like this one. Until then, guys, make sure to stay safe, and hopefully this all blows over soon so we can get back to watching baseball.